Hey pretty gang, it is Jen. I want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about a couple of no-nos, okay, or some things that you need to think about before you go out here and braid or start start accepting clients as braiders. First of all, I need you guys who do not know, go ahead and grab my course, Braid for Cash. And you also need to be thinking about if you need to start a YouTube, I also have a YouTube course, make sure you're checking it out and subscribe to the channel. Now let's jump right into it. The first no-no for a braider is you need to pay attention to finicky clients. Yes, you need to pay attention to clients who ask a whole bunch of questions. You need to pay attention to clients that have a whole bunch of concerns, comments, and asking you about your prices and all that stuff. Now, you need to be very clear because yes, you will always have clients who are going to ask a few questions, right? But if you have these finicky, extra aggressive clients, you have a right to refuse a client. You do not need to accept every client. I talked about this in my, um, before you launch your braiding business, make sure you guys go over and watch that video. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll let it slide up here on the screen. You need to pay attention to clients who are very finicky, ask a lot of questions, uh, appear very overly aggressive because these are going to turn into clients who are going to be unhappy clients and these are going to be clients that may potentially leave you a bad review when you could have uh, possibly paid attention and not dealt with the client from the beginning so i need you to not accept finicky clients and please know that you have a right to refuse a client if you feel like or you see that they're going to be a problem in the future the next thing that's a no-no for clients is booking clients without communicating with the clients now I understand this because I even suggest something like Style Seat, right? Which is pretty much a hair or braid directory. And I understand that many of us get our clients that way. But do not let somebody book you and you have not communicated with that client. You need to communicate with the client and you need to be asking questions such as, what is your hair length, right? I know some of us don't know how to braid short hair, don't know how to braid caucasian hair don't know how to braid straight hair you need to ask these questions what kind of hair texture does this person have you need to be asking about hair length you need to be asking about hair issues such as hair loss balding things like that and the reason why i really want you to communicate with the client is because i would need you to get a picture of the client's hair just so you have kind of an idea about who this client is and the type of hair that they have before they sit down in your seat again you want a happy client so Happy client means that you're informed about this client, okay? So do not accept the client without at least following up with them, contacting them, communicating with them to find out what is going on with their hair before they get in your seat. The next no-no for me, I don't know if this is for you, I don't really like same day clients for the reasons I just mentioned earlier. You need to know about the client, right? Some clients come and they want you to create a miracle on their head, right? And no shade to nobody. But um, I saw in the comments from one of the Pretty Money Gang members, um, she pretty much made a comment about, you know, sometimes clients showing up and not having any hair. This is the reason why I don't like taking same day clients because I don't really want to have to deal with telling the client I can't service them because I haven't been in communication with them, okay? So you need to be careful about the same day clients. And the last thing I'm going to share with you guys that's a no-no for me as a braider and needs to be a no-no for you, do not use your products on anyone's head, okay? Now, granted, if they know how to, or if they've used your product before and they're telling you, and I don't mean your product is in your product, unless you have a product line. What I mean is, if you have any type of grease, any types of combs, any type of um, hair solutions or products, you need to be talking to the client before you use it in their head because you don't want to be blamed for somebody's hair falling out, for somebody's hair texture changing, for somebody's, um, just something going wrong with somebody's head because you used your product. I would prefer for you to use your client's products and if you are going to be using a couple of your own utensils such as combs, combs, braids, uh, combs, braids, scissors, things like that. I would like for it to be something that you already know, something that you already know works or something that you already know that the client is used to and the client isn't going to make a big stink about you using what you have, okay? So for those of you guys out there, again, make sure you guys are signing up for my Braid for Cash course, or you can just get the replay where I tell you how you can start your braids, your braiding business with $10 like I did. Um, make sure 
For those of you who are interested, grab the YouTube course and make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.